Jazzy, are you going to help me with my sewing project? Do you just want to take a nap on it? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Rachel, aka Fairy Ann, and I make Lolita fashion videos, including lifestyle and sewing tutorials. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to adjust skirts with elastic waists. I have one skirt that is too big, so I'll show you guys how to um, reduce the elastic, and I have one skirt that's too small, so I'll also show you guys how to expand the waist size. It's been a hot minute since I've posted a sewing tutorial video on my channel, but um, I know you guys really enjoy them and I know that they're the most popular videos that I've made, so I'm really excited to get back into making them and sharing more tips and tricks with you guys. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so here is skirt number one. The top part is removable. And without it, the skirt barely stays on. As you can see, it's sagging at the side. Um, it's just so big. I didn't anticipate it being this big on me. I knew it would be roomy, but it's just huge. So um, let's remove the top part and see what we're working with here. All right, as you can see, the skirt is wanting to fall down. <laughs> it's barely staying up where it's supposed to, definitely not at my natural waist. Um, so I'm going to have to take this in many inches. A closer look at the skirt, you can see that only the back half of it has the elastic, so we will only be focusing on that part. All right, so first thing that I'm going to do is take these buttons off that are for the removable straps. They'll just be in the way when I'm trying to adjust back here, so I'll put take them off and put them back on later. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is just um, seam rip this seam right here. It's sewn like through the elastic itself, so I'm going to have to take it all out um, so that way I can like move the elastic and adjust it. And the idea is just basically reducing the amount of elastic that's back here. So that way um, the fabric will be cinched in more um, once I remove some of it. So yeah, that's the game plan. So I want to make sure that I seam rip on the inside of the skirt rather than the outside, just in case if the fabric gets damaged at all um, during seam ripping, you won't be able to see it. So now that I've reached the end of the elastic, I'm going to undo this seam right here that's holding the elastic in place. That way I will be able to get in there and pull the elastic out so that way I can adjust it. Oh, before I take this all the way out, I'm going to get a pin so that way I don't lose the elastic down here, so it'll stay in place. Okay, I've got my skirt on again, and now it's time to adjust the size. I'm going to reach underneath where the elastic is poking out, pull at it until the elastic waist fits me more comfortably. 
as I pull, I'm making sure that the elastic doesn't twist or get um, wonky in any way. Pin it in place. Trim off the excess. And tuck the remainder of the elastic back inside the skirt. To close up that hole, I thought it was best to hand sew it closed with an invisible stitch, also known as a tunnel stitch. If you guys would like me to make another video tutorial about how to do this stitch and other hand stitching techniques, let me know in the comments. After sewing down the elastic to anchor it, pull at the skirt to make sure that the elastic is secure in place. Now, pull at the entirety of the elastic to make sure that the fabric cinches back evenly across. Pin it in place. I should have used more pins rather than just one in the middle, just so that way the fabric would have been more even across, but oh well, I wasn't going for perfection with this project anyway. Now it's time to replace the middle seam line that we took out in the beginning. As you're sewing along the original seam line, pull at the elastic as hard as you can. This part's pretty tricky, so don't be too upset if it doesn't turn out perfectly. I know mine didn't. And voila, it is finished. I'm super happy with how this turned out and I'm really excited that I can finally wear this skirt now. Now onto skirt number two. Even though this skirt was labeled in size medium, it is uncomfortably tight around my waist. I've always been very sensitive around the waist area, so this skirt was just unwearable for me. Again, the straps on this are removable, so we'll take those off so they won't be in the way when we're sewing. Like the first skirt, this one only has elastic on the back half. So that'll just make our jobs a bit easier. For this skirt, instead of adding more elastic to make it bigger, I'm going to instead end the elastic um, here, end it shorter, so that way it's not cinching up as much of the skirt and more of it is just free. So. I feel like that's an easier method than like taking all this out and adding more elastic or replacing it with an entirely new bigger elastic. I feel like that's just unnecessary extra work. The first step is to sew both sides of the elastic. I went in about an inch and a half on each side. I was kind of guesstimating, um, but if you're unsure, just do a little bit at a time until it fits you just right. Once you're happy with the new placement of the elastic edges, seam rip where the skirt is still attached to the old elastic edge, so that way it'll be free. As you are seam ripping the middle seam, try to not break the thread so that way it is as long as possible. That way it'll be easier to tie it off. And there's no need to trim off the extra elastic, it'll just be hidden inside the skirt. After doing all of this, you might notice some holes in the fabric from the original seams. An easy way to fix this problem is to scratch your fingernail or rub with your fingers on the fabric to help loosen up the fibers to their natural state. And you're done! Pretty easy, huh? I'm so happy I can wear both of these skirts now, and I'm so grateful for my sewing skills to allow me to do this. The longer I've been in Lolita fashion, the more I value comfort, and I think these sewing skills should be shared with everyone so that everyone can wear their clothes 
with comfort and confidence. And that about wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Jazzy, are you going to help me with my sewing project? Do you just want to take a nap on it? Jazzy, no! Lay off of the, the, the skirt. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're right there. That, that works too. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. On the back. What am I trying to say? I don't know. This goofball right here. You're casting a shadow. Here. Why don't you go over here? Jazzy. Kitty. Oh yeah. Jazzy, no! Stay off this skirt!